Welcome back everybody to the next set of challenges. In the first video I did 11, in this video I plan on doing 10, and then in the very last video I'll do 9. It's 30 in total, so uh, after the third one we should be done with all of the challenges. If you take a look at them, these are all the ones I did last video. I will be starting with Diffuser for this video, and as always there will be timestamps to every single challenge in the description if you're looking for a specific one. This challenge should be very interesting. Um, I read up about it a little, and I know that once I get to their bed, there's going to be a little menu that pops up. I'm going to have to diffuse the bed, do I, so I have to do something in the menu to diffuse it. And then afterwards, I can just go ahead and break the bed. So we will find out how long it takes. Hopefully, I can hit them off, have enough time to diffuse and break, and be fine. Hopefully, it's not like a super long process, but we'll be finding out in a second here. Hopefully, this first rush isn't too difficult, or that could potentially be an issue for me. I didn't bring enough blocks, and this guy's just going to build straight up. Um, if I drop down on his base, which I think I want to do here, is he just going to go to my bed, or is he going to defend his own? Please get down from there. Okay, good. And two pumpkins, or two blocks is enough to get here. All right. Hello, sir. We're going to need to fight one more time. Let me just go ahead and take his stuff. And how long does this process take? Click redstone. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to click the redstone here. He probably doesn't know. Oh, whoops. I misclicked. Um, he probably doesn't know that I have this thing to do. So he thinks I'm just taunting him. But in reality, no, he said in chat, he said, why? With a bunch of question marks. Now that's funny. Uh, he's probably, he probably thought I was just taunting him, but I wasn't. I was literally just going through the menu. He could have came out and stopped me and actually saved his bed, but nope. And hey, I'm not complaining. No complaints here. Um, white will be the next base I go for. I'm now at the diamond gen. Hello, sir. Stone sword. That is fine. Goodbye. Let's see. So that process kind of took a while, actually, of me diffusing and breaking the bed. I, pr I probably wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for, uh... Hey, what are you doing? That's fine. Um, if it wasn't for him just standing there, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Let's find out here. Um, go ahead and click all of these. Good. Okay. Yeah, this challenge isn't that bad. It's really just winning a solo game that is uh, the most challenging part. Okay, goodbye. The diffusing part is a little inconvenient, but it really doesn't, like, make or break the game, I don't think. And in fours, it would either- I don't know if it would be easier or more difficult. It might be easier because you have people to defend you while you diffuse, but at the same time, you'll have more people at the base to try to stop you from diffusing the bed, so I'm not sure if it would be easier in fours. Okay, I'm gonna go and check out what this aqua player is doing. Homie, what's up? Wait, why are you- wait, why sharp iron? Wait, why sharp iron? Hold on. <laughs> Alright, red's gonna start coming for me. And Aqua might as well, so I could be in some trouble here. Um, I'm gonna go for red first, seeing as they're bridging to the diamond gen at this current moment. So they probably want me dead if I had to take a guess. Hello, sir. Please, diamond gen, no. As usual, the diamond gen is here to uh, make it so I can't hit the player. When you fight at the diamond gen, you want to be the person standing in the diamond gen. That way you're like invincible. It's kind of just how it works. I really want them to decrease the like size of that diamond gen hitbox. Okay, they're going to put stuff down and try to get my bed. It's not going to work. Goodbye. Um, and let's hurry over to red and see if I can do anything. So this player is actually playing um, kind of sweaty. So what I'm thinking is this diffuse process is going to be horrible. The only way I'm going to be able to do it is uh, if I am able to smack them off, which I'm not able to, unfortunately. Dang. Like, I, it would have been so easy. I would have been able to easily diffuse and break the bed. Go, 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 go. This person did it as well, where they probably thought I the bed was gone, so they didn't care to try to defend it. So they just walked back into their generator. But they actually would have been able to stop me if they actually tried. And that's probably what most people would do. Like, that's probably what I would do. If I had a layer of wool and no mind fatigue, and I saw somebody killed me at my base, I'd just be like, all right, my bed's gone. Who cares? So I, I don't blame them for doing it, but it's really working out for me right now. I'm still hoping that Aqua Team doesn't come for me, but I feel like soon they will. Okay, so red team's above me right now. I think they're just waiting. Nope, they're right here. They weren't ready. I hit him down. And he's so close to dead. Good, good, good. So red team's out of the game. And we just have to get aqua as well as yellow out of the game. So aqua is actually going to start heading towards me now, it looks like. Which is very unfortunate. Yellow team is right here. Um, they might actually have obby, if I had to take a guess. They don't have any diamond upgrades, which is very good for me. Um, but yeah, they might have obby. They do. Okay, that, I mean, that makes sense. They've been mid this whole game. I need to die here, unfortunately. Let me just deposit everything. 
Um, and the reason I need to die is because Aqua is definitely on his way. Is he right there? Yes, he is. But at the moment, I'm going to go for Aqua, seeing as they have a completed bridge all the way to my base. And it would be nice to get them out of the game. Please fall off. Okay, good. I'm just going to dig my way in here. And let's see. There's the bed. Let's block it up. Okay, bunch of redstones, bunch of redstones. Here we go. Don't misclick or I will. Good. I did not want to have to repeat that. Smack him. Smack him again. And off the edge, I'm going to go ahead and void right away. I have so much gold. What in the world? <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a bow, maybe. I don't know. Hold on. Let's do this first. Love that. All right, yellow team is back in mid, and they're probably about to run back with even more M's, which is super annoying. And I'm going to do a not-so-smart play and just go mid from my base. Um, I'll fireball jump once I get close. That way, I don't have a completed bridge. But again, I'm pretty sure yellow team's just going to get, like, invis and a pearl. I grabbed magic milk with some of my gold because... He'll probably have a minor fatigue trap, and that way I can just go right through that. Okay, here's this guy. Again, we have... They don't have diamond upgrades, so we have a big gear advantage on this person. But then again, they do have obby, so obby wins games. Let me go ahead and just fireball there. Cool. So, I have to kill this guy a few times, I think. I need to kill him, break the piece of obby, kill him, defuse the bed, maybe kill him again, and then break the bed. But we'll uh, find out what happens. He only has a clean wood sword, so this might go pretty well for me. I didn't even have to drink the magic milk. He either didn't have minor fatigue or I stood up there talking for so long that uh that the minor fatigue already wore off. Okay, let's try to fuse this bed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good. Bed diffused. Let's kill him again. Okay, perfect. And break the bed. And that should be the end of the challenge. Yeah, this one I don't think is that much of a challenge, at least in solo, because... As long as you can kill people a few times, you'll be able to, you know, defuse the beds fine. We are now on the lazy miner. We just have permanent miner fatigue. TNT and fireballs are disabled. This one, um, surprisingly, for the amount of time that I've played Bed Wars, I don't know what the normal miner fatigue trap gives you. I think it's just miner fatigue 1, which is what I have right now. Um, that seems about right. This is about how fast that, uh you break a bed with minor fatigue. So it looks like I'm just gonna have a permanent minor fatigue trap. I know that when like a player has a minor fatigue trap, it'll just amplify the amount of minor fatigue you have now. Um, I'm just gonna build a way up because I would assume this guy is as well. Get out here. Please don't hit me. Okay, we're good. Um, oh no, is this gonna take forever? Please, go. Fist, you gotta break this quicker. You gotta. Oh, we're good. Okay, minor fatigue kinda sucks. And goodbye. And then TNT is disabled, so if I should probably get a set of tools, because breaking through bed defenses are going to be an absolute pain. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight this guy real quick. And he's off the edge, we're good. Um, I'm gonna start heading towards um, white base. White team is rushing pink now. I would assume they know that I was going for them, right? I don't know, it's fine. If white wants to get double rushed by both me and pink, count me in. But it looks like pink is potentially heading towards me. Um, I would try to block trap this guy, but... <laughs> I may have some minor fatigue problems. Um, but yeah, he's getting rushed by pink now, so the white team is in a lot of trouble. Um, let me run over here and see if I can fight this guy. Okay. Um, he is relatively low. Again, I need to... Okay, yeah, I needed to kill him first before um, breaking his bed because I wouldn't have been able to just quick snipe the bed. Um, the minor fatigue is too much. Okay, let's run this way. Okay, white team is now at my base. Um, I'll just sit up here, I guess. And see what he's planning on doing. Pink is behind him, which is really funny. He's, so he's still kind of getting double rushed here. Um, yeah, he's coming on over. If he wants to drop on me, he can. But yeah, if he waits for too long, I think Pink's about to backstab him. I wish I could fireball him off. Okay, I think I hit him off. Okay, we're good. He's out of the game. He was probably the biggest threat. Um, I'm not sure what Pink's up to. Um... But, yeah, we'll see if I die here. Pink has relatively good gear, and unfortunately had their head under a block, so they were able to get that last combo on me. So my bed's gone. But I really don't think that they're insanely good. It was just I had the unfortunate positioning in that last fight there. I suppose I'll go break their bed, um, if they're just going to sit at my base. If they want to chase me back to their base, they can. If they have a fireball, that's a little unfortunate. But I'm not breaking their bed yet on purpose. I want them to come over and fight me. Um... Preferably. So let's go ahead and break it now. They're going to probably drop. We're good. 
And I think we should be able to win this fight here. Yeah, perfect. All right. Yeah, so that challenge wasn't all that difficult. That was a little bit of a tricky game, but the minor fatigue really didn't impact how I was playing at all. So I, I don't know if that one was all that much of a challenge. Okay, so this one's really interesting. Ultimate UHC, Gapples do not provide any health and natural regen is disabled. The natural regen is probably gonna be really tough to work my way around, um, especially with Gapples not giving me any health back. Cause normally you can just chug Gapples in Bed Wars, they're pretty cheap, um, but not having any regen or the access to golden apples is very tough. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can kill this guy real quick. Please get off the edge, okay good. And, cool, he's completely out of the game. I'm just gonna go way up, because I know the gray is already at this uh, diamond gen. It looks like they're running back, which works for me. I should probably not be taking so much fall damage, because now I'm only on, what, six and a half hearts? Gray's just giving up their bed, which works for me, I guess. Yeah, so they have way more health than me, and I can't even eat a gap to, like, get back to practically full. Um, let's see, can I smack him off? Please die. Oh, we're good. We are good, but taking them out of the game is really nice. I really only have enough health to kill blue once. Um, so I'm, wait, what are they doing? Okay, so let's go ahead and, okay, I don't know what he's up to. And he didn't hit me at all, perfect. I'm still on nine hearts. Uh, let's go see if we can end this game before my health becomes uh, very troublesome. <laughs> so green doesn't have the bed and they're right there. Yellow is heading on over. So yellow killed green and then died somehow. Don't know how they died. I'm gonna buy Prot 2 as opposed to Sharp, just because it helps with fall damage a little bit. Sharp might be the better way to go, but they're both very helpful, I'm not too worried. Okay, yellow team, it's time to fight. I'm gonna drop this TNT. Did he stop playing? Oh, no, he's still playing, okay, good. I was worried, I'm like, this happened with that, um, the woodworker challenge as well, where like the last player just left. I, I know that people were talking about like, plot armor and all that, and it's like, no, I think I'm just getting lucky, and I think I just glitched him into that trap door, so I was able to kill him. <laughs> nice damage, bro. Thanks? I have a theory. That guy was playing on 1.12, or whenever the swim animation came out, he's playing on one of those versions, and when I opened that trap door, it made him go into the swim animation, and he wasn't able to hit me because of it. That That's my theory of what happened in that last fight there. This one really isn't that bad. You can also void to get full health again, so UHC is more like when you die, you should be out of the game. So it's not exactly UHC, but let's try this one here. Sleight of hand, I only have one available hotbar slot. Okay, so there's gonna be permanent red pains in eight of my nine hotbar slots. This should be very difficult, because normally if I had blocks and a sword, which would be these two slots, then it would be fine. You know, those are all I really need. But having to use blocks and then go into my inventory to bring out my sword, I'm probably just gonna try to punch people off with the blocks. I'll theory craft something. Uh, whatever, whatever works the best. Pink is going to just bridge to the diamond gen, it looks like, and then they ran back. Um, I didn't take fall damage there, but don't tell the admins whatever you do. Hello, pink player. Uh, let me switch to my sword real quick. He has a stone sword. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, good boy. Is he gone? He's gone. I said good boy as if he's an animal. I just dehumanized him. Who's with me, fellow viewers? Let's go for red team. They broke a bed and they are threatening me. Should I get Obby first? I think I'm going to, um, just cause the second M just spawned so I can just go ahead and run a circle, have eight M's and get back to my base. I know that red is probably gonna be rushing me. Hopefully they take their time at their base first. Uh, and yeah, it looks like they're gonna run back to their base, which is great. I'm going to throw a TNT down. Let's go ahead and plop some obby down and then plop some wool over it to hopefully hide it from all the enemies. Here's my inventory right now. Just a gap, set of tools, wool, and I think I'm just gonna hold the wool for now. Again, I think I'm just gonna have to punch people off with my wool. Switching between blocks and a sword is gonna be uh, too tough. And then it looks like red team does have end stone, which means I will need to bring out my pick eventually um once i get to his base he's building up which is very unfortunate for me <laughs> i don't know if he knows that i'm doing this challenge but that's probably the best way to counter doing this challenge okay wait hold on did they just leave okay they're going mid i think they're gonna try to trade beds with me no they're just running around mid they're just having a good time all right cool goodbye to red bed um and now i don't have to worry about fighting anyone off we'll just go ahead and wood pick this and yeah they're gonna run to my base they don't know i have obby which is <laughs> wonderful for me. Um, so I'm just going to deposit everything I have right here and boom, boom, boom. And I'm jumping in the void. 
I'll, I'll, the only way this guy breaks my bed is if he already has magic milk and a diamond pickaxe, and there's like no shot he does. He's just gonna barely get through the wool. <laughs> I got him, dude. I got him. <laughs> it was the TNT, his own TNT, that ended his life there. How wonderful. That's that's poetic even. It's just me and blue team. We both have beds. I have obby, so I feel like I'm a little bit more geared than they are. I'm pretty sure the person I killed in spec chat said, so be well, I didn't even kill him, the TNT did, but red team in spec chat said, so be prepared. Um, I'm thinking they're trying to talk to the players that are left in the game, saying, Hey, be careful. He has obby, so be prepared. Not realizing that they can't hear him because he's in spectator mode. Um, let me grab this out. He's gonna come down and fight. I have way better gear. We're good. Let me go ahead and eat my gapple now, since I probably won't have time later on. I'll grab my blocks back out. This is going to be one of the situations where I'm going to have to smack this guy off. Please die. Get off the edge. Please. <laughs> I can't hit him off. I should have just swapped to my sword. That probably would have made it a bit easier for me. But I was also hoping that he'd take a little bit of KB. It is high pixel after all, so I shouldn't count on them taking knockback. He, it looks like he grabbed M's, but he's also coming towards me. So if I can kill him here, um, please get off the edge. Please, fall. Thanks, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did he give me M's? He did not. Okay, he didn't grab any. I saw he was running around mid, so I figured he was. I actually just realized, this guy's doing a challenge of his own. Um, he's doing the one where your armor and tools get reset every time that you die, because he is currently in leather armor. He had iron armor before. So cool, we're both doing a, a different challenge. I would assume mine is a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, I don't know if either are incredibly difficult. Um, this guy's just gonna try to smack me off. I should just be able to get to the top of his base here. And we're good here. And then it's very good that he dropped back down, because now I can bring out my iron sword. Go ahead and place that block there, and that block there. And now I just need to kill him, and then- oh, wait, I have minor fatigue. Let's wait till this, um, runs out. Once it runs out, I will drop. And if we can kill him here, which we should be able to because he has less gear, uh, shears, and bed broken. I'll probably end up dying in this fight since I, again, don't have uh, much health after that first one. He's on one. That was so close. But this game is just about wrapped up. Again, I have Obby, so I don't know if this game was ever super uh, in danger. Obby is a good way of uh, just winning any challenge, really. <laughs> he grabbed some M's? No, he didn't, because there's two right there, and I refuse to bring them to him. He's going to make a break for my base, which is fine again. I feel like with his challenge where his tools get reset after every... Uh, bed break or after every time he dies um i feel like he's not gonna have a diamond pick right now um seeing as he doesn't even have iron armor <laughs> but maybe i'm wrong who knows um here we go time to fight hello sir big 1v1 he didn't even get to see the fact that i have obby check dude check my base <laughs> i wanted to at least break a block and know that i have obby just to really sealed the deal that he didn't have a chance. All right, GG. Weighted items. Each item has a unique weight to them and carrying heavy items will make me slower. All right, let's try this one out. Okay, this is gonna be super interesting. So I read up a little bit about this. It, this is probably easiest in the 4v4 mode because you can have one person dedicated to blocks, one person dedicated to having like a good sword and armor, one person dedicated to TNT, and you just go around wiping teams um, as, you know, as a group. In solo, it's a little bit difficult, because I need to carry, like, everything on me at once, um, to get kills, to break beds, all that. And as you can see, I'm, I'm only carrying a stack of blocks, a TNT, and a wood sword, and it already feels like I'm moving quite slowly. Now, I was talking to this guy in the pregame lobby, um, and he was telling me how he's doing the assassin challenge, so it seems like I am not his target, so I feel bad for him. <laughs> But I am going to uh, go ahead and try to take him out of the game here. And my speed bridging is all screwed up because of how sl slow it feels like I'm going. Timing is the most important thing in speed bridging and it's thrown off when, even then when I have just a tiny bit of slowness. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just break yellow bed. Sorry, hopefully your assassin challenge goes well. But at the same time, he fell in the void. He gave me two M's for it, which is great. I think I want to buy a speed pot, actually. But first, I'm going to go around and try to collect some more M's. And I think my main way of moving around is going to be speed and jump. I'm probably just going to get both those potions, and we'll go from there. I don't know if armor weighs you down. We're going to actually test that right now. So let's run back to the base. Hopefully, don't get fireballed by Aqua Team. We haven't been. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and buy diamond armor. Um... I'll probably do one speed pot and a bridge egg, and then I should be okay with that. I don't want to buy tools, because tools weigh you down a bit, 
and then I'll permanently have them. I won't ever be able to get rid of them. So once I commit to tools, I can't uncommit to tools. Let's go ahead and run to Aqua's base. I think they're going to run back to their base. They are, but they won't be in time. I'm going to drink my speed potion. And hopefully that... <laughs> Please, just get out of my inventory. I'm moving so slow. Even with speed 2, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Please, get out of the game. Please, come here. No, no. <laughs> I'm moving so slow. He's off the he's off the edge. We're good. That's crazy. I feel like I'm not even caring very much. And the slowness is just eating me up. Let me quick deposit that and see if I can kill. All right, I can't. I wanted to make sure I deposited my diamonds first because I didn't want to give it to them. Um, let me buy sharp. Okay, what's going on here? Because when I'm sprinting around, I'm sprinting right now, by the way. I'm not walking. I'm going so slow. Is it my armor? Does armor weigh that much? When I jump, I go a little bit faster. But when I'm just sprinting normally... I didn't realize diamond armor has a weight. I mean, I guess it's an item, but it's one that you wear. Okay, right now I have two gaps, two fireballs, and some blocks, along with an iron sword. So, my main way of killing people, I think, is just fireballing them off the edge. <laughs> um, getting into PvP encounters is going to be, like, impossible to win. You know, next to impossible to win. Please die. Oh my god, I almost boosted that guy to my base with that fireball, because he fell off on his own. So I didn't even need to do anything, and that fireball that I threw almost boosted him to my base. Hello, red team. Um, please get down from there. And I'm just gonna smack him up, and he's just gonna land. God dang it. Please get down. Please get down. Now I'm down. I don't think they're gonna survive the fall. Okay, I just was able to kill him. Um, I'm gonna drop back down here. I know it'll t be a lot of fall damage, um, but I can go ahead and buy some gaps. I'm gonna buy a TNT three gaps, and a bit more blocks. This is me sprinting right now, by the way, just so we know. With the potions, this is how fat- I didn't realize potions weigh that much. I guess I've never really had a potion in real life, so I don't know 100%, but the only way I can move is if I sprint, like, or if I sprint jump, because this is me just sprinting. So, we're gonna go ahead and speed, jump, and invis, and this is me sprinting with speed too, just so we are all aware of what is going on during this challenge. This is horrible. Um, I'm going to lose my bed, as we can see from over there. I'm literally just a frog at this point. I can only move when I'm jumping. How are all these people getting to mid? I can't find any mid bridges. Okay, I'm hopefully not going to get fireballed off here. Let me just run over here, see if I can get to this base. Please. Okay, we're good. And I'm going to buy two pearls, because I, I need a way to get around the map here. And I'm going to go ahead and drink speed and jump and hopefully i'm light enough where i can actually move around again um red is chasing me around and is actually catching up i'm gonna go ahead and pearl to mid um for a couple reasons one i can get away from red two they're okay they're just gonna jump off that works for me that works for me um and i'm just gonna go around and collect more m's again i need gear i might even want to go for a punch bow here okay red is kind of just chilling around okay they left they went to the diamond gen so i have some time to go ahead and break this bed let's go ahead and do that and I will go buy a punch bow and arrows, and hopefully I can get somewhere with that. Um, I have so much gold, so I'm going to buy gaps, blocks. With my remaining emerald, I'm going to buy a bridge egg, and I'll buy more arrows. Actually, I think a couple fireballs works too. I'm back to not being able to move unless I'm sprint jumping. This is such a pain, but if I can just go ahead and throw a bridge egg at mid. I'm expecting a fireball here. Okay, they threw one. They have multiple. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got super nervous there. Um, I Do they have another one? They probably do. They said nice clutch. I'm just going to quick try to run to mid. They are as well. And fireball. Are they dead? Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. I literally just can't move. Okay, I think don't buy diamond armor. If you're doing this challenge, don't buy diamond armor. It weighs so much. I'm gonna, like, I, I can't throw anything out of my inventory, but oh, I wish I could to show you right now. I'd throw everything out, and I still just wouldn't be able to move because of the diamond armor. Blame that, and we're gonna try social distancing. You can only use knockback sticks and punch bows. It's gonna be easier than the last one, I guess, because before I could only use punch bows to kill people. <laughs> I guess fireballs, too. I'm assuming fireballs work as well, seeing as it wouldn't make sense for them to not work. I mean, that's extreme social distancing, throwing fireballs at people. So knockback sticks, as well as only the punch bow. You can only do that. And then you can't buy fireballs? Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, do golems work? Golems don't work either. Okay, interesting. They banned a lot of things. I feel like any projectile should be social distancing. Um, but let's just go ahead and buy our K-B stick, I guess. 
Um, I'll go ahead and buy. I suppose... Hold on, they didn't ban axes. So theoretically, I could get like a diamond axe. And I and you deal pretty good damage with a diamond axe. Um, I'm going to shift here. And... Goodbye. Those block placements by this person was very lucky on their part. I was hoping they didn't see me, but they did. Um, I, sh I might be able to actually just break this bed right now. I am. And... Please get off the edge. Whew. All right, we're good. We're good. They disconnected. Okay, so clutching this game is going to be kind of difficult here. Um, I suppose prot will help. Sharp won't help. And do I feel like using a diamond axe for PV? Who threw that? Yellow. Ah! Homie, please calm down. I got to get to mid fast. He's probably just going to go buy another fireball. Dude, I have a feeling I don't need to worry about yellow unless... They're throwing fireballs at me. Generally, when someone sits at their base and does that, that tends to entail that they're not insanely good at the game. Not saying that's the case every time, but I feel like this specific time, yes. As usual in these challenges, I'm going to stack up on M's. I'll probably end up buying a pearl and a set of pots. Aqua, gray is very sweaty. How do, how do you know that I was bridging and you were throwing fireballs? We haven't even had an encounter other than that. You won against a sweater. No, blue team wasn't even good. They played as if it it was their first Bed Wars game ever. It's my second game ever, so I won against them. If you have played more than two games, you probably are better than me. All right, I've convinced them, I feel like. Now they're not going to come after me. I slow bridge. Me too. Okay, wait, that, that lie's not going to stand because uh, they literally saw me speed bridge. <laughs> Check this out. Goodbye. Off the edge. Ah! We're good. That fireball almost saved them, actually. Uh, they almost were able to die and come back. Wait, why does he say foo idiot? Do you mean... Kung Fu? This guy's really mad. And again, I still haven't even fought this. Oh, wait, I, I can't use fireballs. Forgot about that. I mean, I fricked your mom, he says. Well, then, I'm going to message Hypixel about your dirty language. My dad is Hypixel, by the way. Okay, I'm just going to go after him here, and we're going to see what happens. Throw in the pearl. And no. Okay, we're fine for now. We're fine for now. Again, I, I can't kill him unless he comes out. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to make that, isn't he? Okay, no, he's not. <laughs> he panicked and just TNT'd himself off the edge. Whoa, what's he doing? He's crazy. Dude, just fall, please. It's fine. Please let me win the game. Oh, thank goodness. Wait. Oh, I didn't get the kill because he took so long falling. Hey, that works for me. That is... That challenge done. That one's actually not that bad. So this challenge isn't actually all that bad. Knockback sticks and punch bows, that's all you need to win games anyway. Because uh, you have access to, you know... If they banned every other item except for those two, then it would be difficult. But since they left in, you know, potions, all the blocks, all the tools... If you need a weapon, just use your diamond axe. And that deals plenty of damage. So swordless is like a repeat of the one I just did. Um, knockback sticks again. You can't pick up swords, you can't use swords, you can't use your axe or pickaxe to deal damage. Okay, so do fireballs work? They do. TNT works. And golems work. Okay, so even though... They're banning all swords. They did They did state that using tools, so if I tried to hit someone with like an axe, for example, it would also deal the same amount of damage as my fist, so that won't really work. But at the end of the day, a KB stick is actually a totally fine weapon. Um, my first rush pink fell in the void, which is great for me. Um, I don't want them to be sitting in their gen, because of course I can't deal any damage to them. So I need them to run back out of their base. And then I can go um, for the bed break. Well, I guess I can break the bed now. Um, but I need them to leave their base in order to actually be able to kill them. Okay, they're not playing the game. Works for me. And then it looks as though I should probably start heading for gray team, seeing as they took out red. Do I have enough time? Do I have enough time? I do. Gray is not paying attention. I'll wait for them to run out of their base here. And come on, run out, run out, run out, please. Get off the edge. Dang it. <laughs> Um, he might just make a break for my base, which would be unfortunate. I do have 
one layer of wool, which is probably enough. Um, also, I don't have a direct path up to my um, my base, so he'll probably have to turn around and fight here. He's just going to fireball jump. As long as he... Okay, I think I just hit him too much. Okay. <laughs> that was really close. If he went a little bit more to the left, he would have just landed on the bridge and broken my bed. Which, did you know that in Bed Wars, you don't want to lose your bed? Crazy, I know. I provide you with all the great information. But yeah, luckily KB sticks are broken and I just send him flying. Um, Red died somewhere. I remember when I was going to Gray Base. Red was going to mid. But they're not in the game anymore. So I'm guessing they fell off the edge? Okay, this is super unfortunate. So green is here. Blue is here. And I'm pretty sure that yellow is about to start coming towards me. So my base is kind of just the hot spot for, uh, you know, players to hang out. Okay, I'm really hoping that yellow starts going for green. Because they know that green is over here. Um, it looks like they're going to. So I'm just going to stall as long as... Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Goodbye. <laughs> I was going to stall, I should say. How do they lag back? Why is everyone lagging back? Um, I was going to stall so yellow could go break green bed, but... Oh my goodness, diamond sword. Please go away. All right. Who wins? KB stick or diamond sword? Looks like KB stick. As they were falling, they said, ah ha 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 ha. If they don't run out of their base right now. <laughs> okay. Well, that works too. Now he says, ha ha ha. He's laughing even louder than before. I don't really know what to do here. I'm going to run to green and try to break their bed. And then I'm going to void. Because um, green wants to kill me. Um, for some reason, even though I'm across the map, they wanted to kill me more than yellow this whole game. Uh, yellow's probably going to try to kill me since I broke their bed. Um, but I'm going to... Okay, we can actually break this bed. They voided. Um, if they don't know that I'm using a KB stick, they're going to run out of their base to try to fight me. Oh, they disconnected. That works. Um, let's buy a trap. And then I'm just going to throw my KB stick in there and void. And I think I can get back to my base before yellow gets there. They're very close. My minor fatigue trap gets triggered. And... Get away from me. I gotta go. Please. We're good. <sighs> ah, that was very scary. Uh, they must have had shears because they broke that through the mind of fatigue very quickly. And then lol L they say. Alright. Cool. Okay, I don't know if air show is the best map for this one. But we are doing marksman, meaning that we can hit players with melee weapons. And that includes our fist. And we can only attack players with a bow. So I'm assuming fireballs work, um, TNT works, and yeah, dream defenders work as well. So all of those we can use to deal damage to people. But I'm assuming, since it says my fist doesn't work either for dealing damage, if I hold blocks out, I'm guessing that also counts as my fist. So there's no reason to just run around holding blocks trying to hit people. I suppose I could test it out, but I don't exactly want to die. So I think my only strat here is to go mid and try to buy a punch bow right off the bat. Um... Not feeling good about this one, if I'm if I'm being honest here. Uh, goodbye to my base. You know what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to go break green bed. That way, if they do end up chasing me to mid... Let's see if they jump in the void, actually. If they jump in the void, I'll probably just run back to mid. Nope, they're going to follow me back. Um, let's go ahead and break this bed. And, okay, that, that works for me. They're going to run back. I think this guy might want to fight. I do not, though. I don't have a way to deal damage. So, let's go to mid. And I'm going to potentially drink jump. If he ends up getting too close and he wants to kill me, I'll just drink jump and go to the top of the balloons. That way I can avoid fighting this guy at all costs. Yeah, so he's going to grab those two M's. Um, I, I'm not going to fight him for it. It's fine. I don't I don't need your M's. We'll, we'll split them. We will split the M's. Okay. I don't think he likes the idea of uh, each us each taking two generators. He's off the edge. Oh. And I got the final kill. I love that. Okay. He missed the jump. This is the greatest moment of my whole life. He could have just split the M's and we would have been fine. Uh, gray is actually heading towards pink and white. Um, I'm going to head to gray actually as quick as I can. Because um, if I can break gray bed, things are looking pretty good for me. I still don't have the punch bow that I really want. Uh, and that's also my only way of dealing uh, any damage to anyone. But breaking gray bed, seeing as they're about to break pink, I think, if, if I'm seeing that right in chat. But let's go ahead and break this bed real quick. Good. Okay, so gray's probably not breaking pink bed, seeing as they haven't done it yet. And I'm guessing they're not going to go in on pink. 
without a bed. They might though. Uh, Grace said something about God bridging. Was that pink God bridging? Who knows? Either way, I got to keep a close eye out for anyone being near me. I, again, I can't fight anyone. I have no way of dealing damage. So I'm just going to run around collecting uh, M's as per usual. Okay, I have three jump potions, fireball, um, plenty of blocks, and the punch bow with 30 arrows. I'll keep my arrows in the hot bar just so I know how many I have left when shooting. Um, Gray is planning on coming over here actually, which I think I can take a fight now mainly because of my punch bow and punch bows are broken. I see pink right there. They're going to fight Aqua and they're going to lose the fight. That sucks. I was hoping pink would win that fight so I could go break their bed because they'd be really far from their base. Okay, so pink's yelling saying no cross teaming. Oh, JK. Gotcha. Pink was just doing a little trolling. That's so silly. Okay, here's how my current hot bar is looking. We have uh, jump potions, gaps, fireballs, so many projectiles. I'm going to be the most annoying player. Again, I'm still just trying to stack up if I don't need to fight someone, I'm not going to. Does he know? I want him to start heading towards mid. God dang it! Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm so bad with a bow. Gray's gone though, we're fine. <laughs> I had two good opportunities before that that I just completely threw. Well, I guess I didn't throw him, I shot him. I shot my opportunities right off the edge. But we got Gray out of the game. I'm gonna start heading towards pink base. I don't think they're here. So this might just be a free bed, unless they die, which they very well could. All right, I, they have minor fatigue. I'm just going to drop the TNT now. Um, and they did end up dying, so I'm going to leave. Um, there's no reason to stay here and fight. Uh, I broke their bed. I'll probably kill them later when they come mid. But we just got to play this very strategically. Don't get in any head-on encounters. Stay away from everyone. Pick people off with bows from afar. It looks as though Aqua's not paying attention, so I'm going to try to get to their base. As long as they don't die... I think I can break their bed and making it a bedless game, which is probably better for me than them, seeing as I have a punch bow and fireballs and pearls, and I am fairly positive they don't have any of those things. Okay, Aqua actually killed Pink, which um, either means Pink was really bad, Aqua was really good, a little bit of both. I'm going to go ahead and drink the jump boost and head mid. I'm going to buy a tracker on this Aqua guy so he can't sneak up on me. If he ends up getting invis, I would like to uh, have an idea of where he's at at all times. Trackers are just very helpful at the end of games, especially in my situation where I'm trying to stay as far away from everyone as possible. Um, trackers are just super helpful. He is 100 meters in this direction. There's only one M in each of these generators, so there's a chance he has some invis. He is... I'm going to drink this just in case. He's... Oh, he's, he's not invis. All right, cool. I wasn't seeing him, so I thought potentially he was invis, but is he going to fight me? Nope. I'm glad he's actually running away. Running at me would be the best call for him. No, don't go up there. Does he not know I have a punch bow? All right. He was probably just hoping I'd miss more shots because I'm horrible with a bow. But we were able to land that one. Uh, that's the end of that challenge. I got pretty lucky in the beginning, seeing as the team that was coming after me, being green, fell off the edge, giving me, like, infinite time to collect the resources. But as long as you can get your punch bow, that challenge shouldn't be that difficult. You should be able to win. Okay, I wasn't looking forward to this one. This one seems very difficult. I can only walk on blocks my team has placed. I can't pick up items from other players. I can't receive items from killing a player. I can only use resources from my own generator. And if I walk on blocks placed by an enemy team, the challenge will be fa failed. Isn't number five and number one the same thing? Okay, we will start this. This one will probably be one of the more difficult challenges, but we'll find out. Okay, so this one's going to be very tough. The main difficult part about this is only being able to... Well, there are two difficult parts. One, not being able to stand on any enemy blocks is going to be an absolute pain. Um, and then also not being able to collect from enemy generators is also going to be difficult because, well, I don't even want to break this bed, but like, look at all this stuff that I just, I can't pick up because it's not from my own generator. It, it really just hurts me. If I break blue bed, people might think I'm really good and then come after me. So I'm just going to leave blue bed open. Um, I kind of need some diamonds though. Okay, great. We learned today that I can't collect from any generators. Uh, I remember it saying I can only collect resources from my own generator. I was hoping that didn't include diamonds and M's, but yeah, it looks like diamonds and M's, I cannot collect those either. So this is going to be a very difficult game. I'm going to go ahead and break blue bed now. It's been long enough. And I'm going to start heading towards green, I guess. Okay, so this is where the challenge gets very interesting. I'm going to drop down, and I just need to keep placing blocks under my feet. Um, okay, we're good. And I'm hoping... Yeah, okay, I'm standing on their island and we're still in the challenge. I'm assuming something would pop up in chat saying you failed if I ended up stepping on their blocks. Oh, I'm about to lose my bed to pink. 
That really sucks. Pink fell in the void. Hold on, I will as well. This is great. I'm jumping in the void. I'm back at my base. Um, again, I can't step on any like gray or pink wool, so I can't really bridge fight at all. Please off the edge. Please get off the edge. Okay, and land on that. I know I can go faster. I'm just being a little bit extra careful just because I really don't want to fail this challenge. Hey, pink team, disconnecting seems really cool right now, right? You'd really want to disconnect just from the game. Just not play anymore. Why would you want, why would you even want to play the game? I'm going to go ahead and drop this TNT. And I'm assuming they're going to run out. Okay, I'll break the bed, I guess. We're good. And I don't know if I'll be able to drop. Yeah, I wasn't able to get the kill. But getting their bed is very good. I'll go ahead and defend my bed. I didn't realize that I'd... Oh, I'm assuming that's what happened. I'm guessing he ran pink earlier in the game, ran to my base, dropped like a TNT or something, and then died from his own TNT. That would be my guess of what happened. I'm going to go back to my base and buy a KB stick. Uh, I think this is, again, the only way I'm getting through this challenge. KB sticks are so broken. Um, the reason I want a KB stick so bad is because I'm going to be way under geared. I can't get diamonds or M's. So this guy um, that I'm currently going up against has iron armor and I think sharp. So I'm really not gonna win any straight 1v1s with this guy. Also, I'm pretty sure he's shifted inside of that base, which is a horrible play normally because I'd be able to just stack up on gear and then be able to kill him later on. Maybe he knows I'm doing this challenge because it's a great play right now because I, I can't stack up on gear. I mean, I got iron armor now, which is something, but okay, so red is breaking my bed or pink is breaking my bed. Yeah, they were just shifted there waiting for me to leave. Um, which is super unfortunate for me. They must know that I'm doing this challenge because that's the only reason they just sit there and wait for me to leave. Um, okay, pink's finally coming out to me. Please get off the edge. Okay. I really can't stack up on gear because I can't pick up emeralds. I can't pick up diamonds. And this guy's just going to sit at his base. I'm assuming with fireballs and I know he has a bow. I saw him holding a bow earlier. He hasn't made it to mid, so that bow is not going to be punch. It's going to be power. But yeah, it hurts to not be able to buy just a pearl and invis and win this game. Okay, he's standing there looking very suspicious, if I'm being honest. Um, we're just going to try to bridge the rest of the way. Uh, that's something. Dude, Iron Man Mark, please. Okay, he's shooting arrows. I can pick him up. Wait, can I pick them up? No, I can't. That's right, because it's from an enemy team. Dude, this guy's shooting so many arrows, and he's just not having any luck. <laughs> Again, I'm nervous to just start bridging to this guy's base. Since I lost my... Oh, wait. Look at where he's standing. Look at where he's standing. This is perfect fireball position, but he's just going to be able to shoot my fireball back. Once he shoots an arrow... Go. Fireball him off. He's dead. Okay, I'm just going to hurry to his base now. And I'm going to just sit on top of it for now. Eat one more gap. I just need to remember to not stand on his bed defense. If I stand on his bed defense, I lose. Please get off the edge. Okay, and break. Okay, I made that way more difficult than it needed to be, and also this guy being really annoying both helped me and hurt me in this challenge. But yeah, KB sticks are probably still the way for the uh, Patriot challenge. This challenge, this challenge doesn't really seem too bad. And the last one for this video, we're going to do stamina. Apparently, I just need to move very slowly because it seems that running and breaking blocks consume stamina. If I don't have enough stamina, I won't be able to sprint or break blocks. And then golden apples will double my stamina recharge rate. So it'll be uh, chugging gaps a lot to probably get through this one. This challenge is either going to be really easy or very difficult. And it all depends on how quickly stamina drains. I'm running right now. And it looks like it's draining pretty quick. Now, if I stop, it recharges pretty quick too. But I'm assuming if I'm running and hitting players at the same time, it's going to burn through my stamina very quickly. Okay, so where do I rush on this map? Probably to red, if I had to take a guess. The good news here, it looks like speed bridging does not take up uh, any stamina. It's the jumping part of speed bridging that does. But it takes up the stamina so slowly that it's not even noticeable, which is very good. Red's not in the game. I can't sprint because I'm low on stamina. It's below three. It's just like in normal uh, Minecraft where when you get below three hunger bars, you can no longer sprint. Um, I am going to go for Abby, by the way, because if my sprint is going to uh, keep cutting out mid PVP encounter, I'm going to need to be able to respawn. So I'm just going to quick run around and try to go ahead and buy obsidian. Okay, I'm going to eat that gap because gapples double the stamina regenerate, which is probably going to be necessary. And I'm going to start heading out to green team. Um, but I'm afraid he might have a fireball, so I'm a little worried about that. Looks like he doesn't, so I'll just jump on over here. Is he gonna... Goodbye. I think. Okay. 
I don't really know why he just... he. Did, oh, he didn't have a bed. That would explain why he didn't want to fight me. Oh, that sucks. So I went for the jump there, sprinting. But I didn't have enough stamina. So it, I didn't sprint and just jumped into the, into the void. But yeah, the stamina drain is pretty brutal. I was breaking down my wool defense to place the obby from earlier. And if you look at every time I break a block... It drops by two bars. You can break like, maybe, you can break like three blocks and you're gonna be out of stamina. Um, so it's very important to have gaps to be doubling your stamina regenerate. Sprinting is also very brutal. They take away your stamina very quickly. It looks like they're not gonna have obby. They did buy diamond armor, it looks like, which is fine by me. I've, I'm so low on stamina. I'm so low, hold on. Yeah, just wait there, just wait there. Okay, I'm gonna keep strutting my way in. And we're gonna go, now that we can sprint. <sighs> I can't sprint. Hold on, dude. I can't sprint. God dang it. Did Pink disconnect? They must have. Uh, they're not in the game anymore. Which, Pink was going for Aqua, so that would actually help me out if they were still in the game. So I don't have any Prot, and he has Prot Diamond Armor. I would have had Prot, actually, if it wasn't for um, me jumping off the edge over after I killed Green. But on the bright side, I have Obsidian. Um, let me go ahead and eat up a Gapple here. Okay, yeah, he's back in mid collecting more M's, so I really need to stop him here. Either break his bed or get a kill on him. Either one works. But if my sprint runs out mid-fight, which I assume it will, this is going to be very tough. And again, this might come down to a punch bow or a KB stick. Okay, he's actually coming over here, which is unfortunate because I really don't want to die right now. I have too good of gear to, to die at this point. Please, don't kill me. <laughs> he's on one. I mean, I spent everything which is good, but losing all that is really unfortunate Okay, we're gonna grab that KB stick again that probably fireball and blocks and we're gonna go for this it looks like he's putting down obby Which I don't know if it's gonna be full obby or half Because if he has obby, why didn't he put it down earlier? He might have full so I should grab a diamond pick just in case kind of sucks because that's a lot of my gold that I want but Two gaps should be fine. This game is going to be painful um, because now I'm pretty sure we both have obsidian. Uh, let me just go ahead and speed and jump on over there. Okay, we're now on top of the base here. And are they planning on... Hold on, can I fireball him off? I misplaced that. Okay, anyway. He probably thinks I don't know he has obby, so I can just go ahead and break it. Which is perfectly fine by me. Um, was it full obby, by the way? I should probably just check, just for my mind's sake. It was full obby. So it's inter it's interesting why he didn't place it down earlier, but I'm going to jump in the void and we'll have to find him in mid um, and kill him there. He's actually here right now. Um, and he is now finding out that I have obby and that is game. Oof, that, they made that game so annoying. Yeah, this challenge is really difficult. If you're going up against good people, you're probably going to lose. But yeah, they that stamina rate, you really need a bunch of gaps. If you take a look, we have done the first page of challenges. We will be saving this whole second page for the last video. Um, these are going to be very difficult. Um, if you just take a look, like I can't sprint the whole game. I can only buy a certain amount of items for the whole game. So like if I buy too many blocks right away and then die with them, then I can't buy any more blocks, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, this one seems insanely difficult. Red light, green light. If you're standing at a base or you're in a PvP encounter, like, you just lose, but hey, if you feel like it, you could like, you could sub, do whatever you want. I don't really care. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, though, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.